woman there, Charlotte Fanon, aka Chach, asked me to propose her. I didn't immediately accept. I grilled her for nearly an hour before I knew she had it in her. My conclusion? Chach is more than capable for the job. She's Welsh. She lives in um, Penny. Pen Pen she lives in Swansea. Uh, she loves a bit of blue and yellow face paint. She's fun, reliable, and very approachable. And I'm sure you've noticed her great smile. I won't tell you what, what she's done for college at school <coughs> in the holidays. It's on her manifesto, well worth a read. But trust me, she's done a lot. From day one, she's been heavily involved in college life, and even got to know the old treasurer intimately. Chash <laughs> is extremely level-headed in her ambitions for college. She's not proposing some over-ambitious, unachievable aims for if she were elected, but rather wants to improve the day-to-day -day running of college. Her main aims? To improve the formal system, to maintain fresher involvement, and to improve college communication. Chach is not afraid of a challenge. She's not afraid of leading a team, and she's certainly not afraid of standing up for the JCR. Qualities I personally admire in a senior man. Whether contested or not, if what, I haven't, what I've just said doesn't quite do her justice, then I hope this will. I know she'll be busy and I know she's got plans. She's really not going to let you down. She'll not only work for Hatfield per se, but work externally to help us make the most of you now. Where 
what we want at Hatfield is what they want for their college, but it's more backing kind of our view. So I just think it's important that yes, Hatfield is obviously your primary concern, but at the same time you do need to realise that we all are also part of Drum University, which is obviously a big deal as well. Um, what do you see as key areas of improvement for the data? And in terms of strategy, where do you see the data are in five years time? Okay. So, like I said, I've not got any grant plans. I understand that we're here for a year in our roles. So, three key things that I want to improve, how, most of them have been mentioned, which I'm pleased about, is involvement. So, in terms of freshers, personally, I think this year the involvement hasn't necessarily been as great as it was when I was a fresher last year. So, I think it's important to instill this from the start, so maybe from the open days at Easter, make sure they know how they can get involved and that they can make a difference. And then again, work with not only the, open, the senior open day reps, but also the open day freshers, the senior freshers reps at the beginning of this next year to make sure that they try and instill it into the freshers when they arrive. Um, I also want to try and improve communications, which, as the secretary has mentioned and other candidates have mentioned, maybe through using the website more efficiently, maybe working with the college office to ensure that they're not sending out seven emails a week as well as us sending our emails, so just to try and improve that. Um, I also want to try and improve the formal system. I know it's a massive pain for a lot of people and it's, there's a lot of people that miss out because of the way it's run at the moment. So I think that's a good thing to try and improve. In terms of where I see Hatfield in five years time, I think with this new uh, allocation of places, it's probably, I hope it won't change that much because I think the way Hatfield is at the moment is brilliant. I think the happy spirit and the, the passion of the people is great. And I think that as long as, as the, ne the next exec that are elected, as long as they continue that into next year, and that will be passed down and passed down, and I think that happens will just remain as great a place to live and work as it is now.
how would you seek to get involved with these? Um, in terms of getting involved, I think it would be key to work with, with the DSU rep as well to ensure that you know exactly what's going on with the union. Um, I think also, like I said before, meeting with the presidents and getting their ideas, taking the views of the JCR to, <coughs> to the other presidents and to the JCU committee and you know, ensuring that our views are heard. Um, in terms of the long term strategy, I'm not completely entirely sure quite what they're looking to do, but I know that involvement is in, within the DSU has been great, and I know that is something they've always got their emails. They're always trying to encourage people to read their emails and get involved in what's going on, so I'd imagine that's something, but that's definitely something I'd be keen to look into. And I also wanted to, something I picked up on earlier in the week as well is that half the students aren't necessarily the most involved in the DSU, so I think it would be key to work with whoever was elected as DSU rep to ensure that there was a bigger half of participation within the DSU. Thank you. Uh, there's been quite a uh, bit of anger about the like meals costing like five pounds or four pounds for breakfast and accommodation fees just magically going up by five or six percent. How would you ensure that you put forward the student's view and show some resistance to the union about it? Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's really important. Obviously, things have just gone up, and no one really knows why. I think transparency is a big issue, not just with Apple, but with other issues that have arisen recently, um, such as the uh, the new way people are allocated to colleges. So I think it is important just to listen to what people have to say. I've dealt with conflict in terms of people above a, above you know the student body with my report. We've had a couple of disagreements with college and I think I've dealt well with that conflict in terms of maybe presenting it to people in a different way um, and I think yeah, that's just, it's just really important to listen to what people are saying and at the end of the day there's not if the uni is saying it's going to cost this much there's fundamentally not much you can do other than present your whip view in the best way possible and come back to your students and explain it to them explain why they've said just get clear answers from them and just be persistent your students need to know why this has happened I think that's just the main thing, is just try and promote transparency and explanation. Okay. As you yourself alluded to, there are significant changes at the moment with the college allocation system. Um, what, are, sorry, um, <laughs> <laughs> what are your views on this, and how would you go about representing the views of Hatfielders on this subject? Um, personally, I think the new allocation system, the way we've implemented it has potentially been the best. I know I haven't spoken to Esther that it has sort of just been dumped upon the colleges. It's not necessarily what people want. But I also know, again, in terms of this Hatfield thing and the way we represent our views, that there are 13 colleges that are behind this and I think it's a good idea. Um, personally, I don't think I know enough about it, despite having my address as a document, which I thought was great. Um, I still don't think I necessarily understand the system fully. And I think this year is it is a practical, like, you know, it's going to be tried out this year, this isn't, a, well, it is certain this year, but they're reviewing it after a year. So I think that if I was elected, I think, having seen the system being in this for a year, I could then, again, ask for views from college, go to that, and go forward with that. You never know, we might, and because I know a lot of cat builders are against it, but we might change our minds. Um, so yeah, just see how it plays out this year, and then listen to the views of people, go to it, go, you know, take it on next year and see if we can, if it needs to be changed, see if we can change it, because there are going to be teething problems that's acceptable. So. Um, some people might view the exec as quite higher up, higher up. How would you ensure that everyone on the exec feels valued, uh, and how would you kind of uh, listen to the views of maybe the lower exec members as much as those that are in more power? Okay, yeah, everyone looks at that. Exactly, it's either hierarchical, but I do think that everyone has a really valuable position. The positions wouldn't be there if we as a JCR, <coughs> the members from before us, didn't think those positions needed to be there. For example, J. Will, we all voted for that to be part of the exam because we feel that's important. So I think that's important from the start to make sure that everyone feels level. So just meetings and maybe like team events from the start, just so everyone feels comfortable with each other. Um, I also think just support, just make sure that everyone's supported and don't try and act as if something's not as important. I think, yeah, just making sure everyone feels involved and everyone feels comfortable. I think that's key. Yes. Um, obviously, the last experience experiencing really difficult times with the union and the In terms of how it is now. Yes, yeah, so like the, the election process or like how it turns into. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, 
I think that the lack of resources, I think it's quite clear, I think it's quite transparent. I think the way it's run all the things that the manifesto is like days before the before the thing when this kind of thing it does give people a chance to think about who they're voting for. And I think it also promotes the idea of people not necessarily just voting for their friends and not being allowed to contest because if you have a stand up you only vote for everyone and give everyone your opinion. Um, but in terms of the roles, I think the roles are great. Um, at the moment, I don't necessarily see any need for any extra roles, but I do think that's obviously something that could be put in the JCR if there was a strong feeling that there needed to be another role or something else needed to be added or something needed to be moved, then I think, yeah, that would be necessary. But I'm not sure that changing where people's positions as such, where people sit or the hierarchy, I'm not sure that's necessary because I can do the executive as like one body. I don't necessarily look at it as someone at the top or someone at the bottom because the person at the chair position is the bottom position because they're uh, this is kind of a roundabout kind of question. <laughs> um, years from now, you have a job interview. Um, <laughs> um, they look at they look at your CV and say, "I feel senior man." Uh, and they ask you, "What were your responsibilities and what did you do? What do you say?" Okay, in terms of my responsibilities, there's obviously all the responsibilities and commitments from the standing order, so the numerous committees. You know, promoting the integrity of the GCR, providing a strategic direction, and all these technical tips. But I also think that it's important to see the role as being a face around college, um, someone that's approachable and friendly, <coughs> that you can go to and ask for advice or you know, voice your concerns. Um, so I think I'd love to say that in my job interview, I was a face in college, I was someone that people could come and talk to. Um, in terms of what I did, like I said before, the communication issues, I'd like to be able to say that something that was set up at your website before my time, I then promoted and increased the use of. Um, in terms of the formal sign up, I think you probably have to go that slightly differently to formal sign up, but yeah, maybe be like there was a major issue with the way um, a system was run and we addressed that and we made it better for everyone. And um, so, yeah, those are sort of things I'd be looking to say. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, we're all familiar with Hatfield's reputation on the uni-wide level, the Slytherin of Durham. Um, how, if at all, would you address our reputation on a uni-wide level? I think I experienced this first time in my freshers week when I sat next to someone in a lecture and they said, what college do you go to? I said Hatfield and they turned away. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I do not think this is great. Um, however, I just think that I think it's a very sort of superficial opinion. I think once you get to know people from other colleges, they don't actually think we're horrible and they don't think that we're, you know, terrible people. Um, <laughs> I think that, yeah, it's, so I think it's almost more like a banterous thing. It can get, there are obviously some people that do take it a bit far, but then there's people in Hatfield that take things too far elsewhere. So I think, you know, it's all a bit of a balance. And I think just promoting the fact that actually we are really nice people doing Freshers Week, encourage, like we did this year, you know, encouraging them not to rise to it. And just to accept that, yeah, some people are going to be really charged about it and think you're horrible, but it's probably just because they're jealous of they didn't get in. Joe. I'm senior man, you're obviously be on the DSC President's Committee Council. But how important do you see it to get involved in other committees on the DSC to represent Hatfield as a senior man? Okay, yeah, I think that is important. I think also you wouldn't want to look at how you're on the DSC rep. I think the whole reason they're on the exec is to sort of go to these sort of DSU councils and committees and for them to put forward their view. So while yes, I do think it's important that as the senior man you would go along the way if it's necessary because there are other DSU committees you're entitled to hold on and that sort of thing. Where it would be possible to attend then yes, I think that will be key. But I think you don't want to try and undermine other people's roles by maybe taking the spotlight away from them. So I think it would be a case of again working as part of a team and making sure that you weren't necessarily trying to act in detriment of another member of your club. Uh, yeah. um, so I was just wondering what your views are on the role of senior man. Should it become sabbatical in the future or not? Okay. Um, how we thought of this, I think that at Hatfield, we're very about the current and about the now. I think being part of the DSO, I don't think it's necessary for us to have a sabbatical president. I think if we were to change to a charitable status, then it would need to be looked into because of you know, the implications, as I said earlier, about the accountant and the insurance and all the other things you'd have to look after. Um, but I think currently, the way we run, I don't think it's necessary. I think the way I've seen it in 
my two, you know, haven't seen two senior months before me, I think that they will cope perfectly well. And I know there have been situations in the past where maybe someone's degree has fallen to the detriment. But I think that's a very personal sort of thing. I think that you need to be able to deal with that sort of yourself. And I think as long as the JCR are happy with having someone doing their degree and doing their job, then I think that's perfectly fine. Obviously, if there was, again, an opinion from the JCR that needed to be changed, it could be looked into. I also think that potentially, in the way how it is and in the type of community that we have, having one paid member on the exec potentially creates some sort of issues. Do they see themselves as completely superior? Do they not take account of what everyone else says? Do they sort of go off and do their own thing because they're another witch? And at the same time, do the rest of the exec sort of get envious of them? Because as a spatter, they then don't understand the pressures of the work alongside the pressures of the job. So I think that in the environment we are in here, I think the non sabbatical system works much better. But obviously, if things were to change or if there was a, an opinion that the senior man could put up, then yeah, that could be something that was looked into. Um, yeah, the DSU appears to uh, kind of want to make the university a lot more centralised um, with the new Palatine Centre and this new um, way of selecting students. How would you ensure that uh, not only Hackfield but the whole university maintains its collegiate status and kind of keeps the identity of separate colleges uh, in the next few years? Yeah, I think that's key. That's something that I talked about all of my house notes before I came and read us this document. It does seem as if the university are trying to enforce their views on the colleges. I think it's important that things like President's Committee and other sort of informal meetings you have with the President's Committee about lunches or whatever you sort of discuss that together and make sure that you as a body of presidents could represent that to the university. I'm not sure that's something that you could take on as one president yourself of one college. I think it would need to come from a majority of the colleges, but I definitely think that's really important to ensure because yeah, they're just going to ruin the whole system if they continue to just impose their views and not be transparent about it. I think promoting concentration with the students is key. And that could be seen again after the 30 of class. They just dropped that off. As well. So I think there's definitely issues, but I think it needs something that needs to be taken on as a 16 person sort of thing, as opposed to one person going in alone. I'm not saying I'd be scared of doing that, I'm just saying that it's potentially going to be easier if you've got support behind you, so it's just trying to drum up that support and make sure that everyone was on the same wavelength. Any other questions? Okay, I think I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to say. But I just wanted to reiterate that I am passionate and enthusiastic about Hatfield. I have got three key things that I think are important to the JCR, as everyone else has also mentioned them, shows they are sort of key. Um, I think that I've got time management skills, the communication skills, and I've had the experience of representing Hatfield's view at university level through being a TOA Europe, and also to college officers through the line of So yeah, I just think I've been able to manage my time well, and I hope that I'd be able to represent all of the views as best as I could without causing any problems and also I think I'd be a good face of Hatfield outside of college um, within the university. So thank you very much, sorry, so late.